graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a, a resource or preset design that you can bring in at any point in the future using custom shapes. Now, of course, you can do that with custom shapes anyway, it's in a CSH file. But say if you want to create maybe a slightly more complicated design using custom shapes, you can then save that and bring that in at a later point. But of course, you say you can actually create a new document and save it that way. But you have to stop and go off to a new document. You can actually do it within an actual document, work in progress kind of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go over to the custom shape tool, just to select. And I'm going to use the pixels option. But so first, I need to actually create a layer for it. So new, new layer. And I'm going to create part of the arrow and go down to custom shape tool. And I'm going to change the color. I don't want that color. Go for a slightly different color there. And of course, I can add, maybe make some dots to that. Okay, so I've got the design. Maybe, like I say, add. I could add effects, of course, as well. I don't have to stop there. I can actually say, no, I'm going to get at that point, but you can go there and add smart filters as well. Okay, next thing to do is go to a layer, smart object, convert to smart object. Once you've done that, you can go to layer, smart object, and convert to linked. That's the key one. Ask you to save a file, so I'm just going to save to arrow three, and it's a PSB file. So save. Okay, at this point, I don't want to use it anymore. A couple of months, obviously, and you think, right, I want to use that arrow again. Well, you can bring that in quickly, and you can just say, place linked, just select the file, and there you've got the original design, which of course has got all the styles, etc., and effects, obviously would have smart effects, all attached. So. And of course you can duplicate that, you can just show the usual alt. And now with the latest version, Photoshop CC 2014, you can also see the positions or spacing as well. So you can actually just space it out. So you want to have arrow every 19 pixels, just go 19 and 19 pixels. And there you have it. And of course you can modify one of those and it will modify all the design. So if you actually want to modify at this point, actually just go to window, properties and you want to edit contents I'm just going to edit the contents and there's the actual design say I don't want exactly that arrow but I want to don't know, maybe let's add a blur to that so just a quick in blur. click OK close the file save now that comes back and all those designs, all the custom shape designs, obviously modified custom shape designs, are then updated as well. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest. Thank you much.